My whole bros, how you doing? I was just uh, finishing up some dunks with the nachos right here. Why don't y'all come along with me? Let's have a little heart to heart, my whole bros. Do I got any dumps to nachos in my beard? I don't know. Well, my YouTube family, my whole bros, I've been putting some videos up and I got a lot of good responses from you guys. And the majority of you asked to know a little bit about me. You want to know about my family, why I'm in Thailand all of a sudden, a little bit about my history, what's my real name, and how did I end up here? So I'm going to tell you a little bit of the backstory of the Hollywood Hobro. My real name is Jude S. Walco, and I've been in the movie business, the entertainment business, a long time. But that doesn't mean I'm not a Hollywood Hobro. But first, let's talk a little bit more about my backstory. I have 42 years of wisdom. That means half of y'all, or a lot of y'all, are half my age. Some of y'all are a quarter of my age, or even a third of my age. And I've spent most of my life, longer than some of y'all have been alive, either in front of or behind the camera. In fact, ever since I was a little kid, uh, even in high school, even in elementary school, throughout college, I had always wanted to be in the movie business. So I worked real hard to get where I'm at now, that's where you and I are today, which helped me to meet Roman Atwood, Chase Gilroy, Vitaly, Dennis Rohde, and a slew of other celebrities which we'll get into later. But for now, this is between you and me, my whole bro family. Now, the good thing is, right now my channel is small. There's not a lot of y'all out there. So I can talk one-on-one -on -one with you. We can interact with each other because there are no rules of engagement on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter. So who says that I can't follow y'all? Who says that I can't look at your stories, read your comments, like your pictures, know what's going on in your lives as well? And I try to do that. I honestly do. The one thing is Instagram, well, they only let me follow about half the people I have. So right now, I have almost 15,000 followers. I follow about 7,000. But believe me, I've tried to follow you all. But for some reason, they don't let me. They're slow. I've complained. Feel free to complain yourself. I don't know if it'll do any good. But the point is, it's interactive. And right now, you, my whole family, we interact. And I can read every one of your comments and get to know you all a little better. And I think that's something that we all do. We like to live vicariously through other people a lot of the times. So it's nice because even people like Chase and Roman and Vitaly and Dennis are all the hundreds of celebrities I know, or you guys sitting there at home, I can read your stories, I can watch your videos, and you can do mine, and we can sort of share our lives with each other one by one. And that's, that's really a great thing, because uh, no other medium in the world before the digital era came across was that able to happen. So the internet is a great thing, but also it's a double-edged sword. You know, one time I was on a plane, I take a lot of plane flights around the world, y'all can see where I've shot many locations, and I was on a plane and I realized it was a 14 hour flight from LA over to tai Taiwan or Taipei or Japan or something, and I started watching movie after movie after movie after movie, and I realized this whole business I'm in, the movie business, it's all about distraction. You know why? Because life is very short, and life uh, has a lot of bumps in it and it's not always happy in fact it's a challenge whether you're a kid in school whether you have a new girlfriend or a boyfriend whether someone in your family has passed away whether you're struggling for money there's a million things that life throws at you and part of our business is to help distract you and entertain you because life is crazy and life is short it's really short and life is dangerous sometimes and things happen that aren't always good so in the entertainment business, we entertain you, we distract you, but good distractions. And that's part of what this is. So, although that is important to life, it's not everything in life. So, life doesn't define you by the number of followers you have, or the people that like you, or comment on you on Facebook, and all that thing. That doesn't define you, because think about, even your great-grandchildren someday, they probably aren't even going to know your name. Maybe that's a little better now, because of the internet. But still, they're not going to even know much about you at all. Um, 
also, don't forget about your real family. Every once in a while, put down your phone or your tablet or your computer. Forget about that. Give the hobo a break. Give Mr. Roman a break. Give us all a break. And go say hi to your family and your friends, because that's real important. But every once in a while, when you want to see the hobo, if you want to know about me, fine, come on back. I'd love to see you. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to interact with you. So I just wanted to uh, get that off my chest. Uh, so a little bit about myself again. I've been in the business since as long as I can remember. I've worked with celebrities all around the world. You guys should go to IMDb. There's a link right below. Uh, there's a, it's a little yellow thing that says IMDb. You can check out my film career. See all the hundreds, if not thousands, of celebrities I work with. Check out the movies I've done. You guys can ask me. You can comment. You can interact. You can say, what was that celebrity like? Who's your favorite celebrity? What does this person do? All that kind of thing. I, I met them at different points of their career, so um, it's really interesting. But I'll also share with you some industry secrets, being that it's not very good in our business to talk bad about people. So, because politically, you never know, whether it's a cast or crew member, even if you don't like them, because you never know politically how, where they're gonna be on their chain. Even me, like I started as a PA, the guy that gets the coffee and <clears throat> drives the car and answers the phone, and now I'm a producer and director and writer. So uh, you have to be careful. So in general, we don't like to talk bad about any, and there's no need to. There's no need to talk about any bad things, although we do always encounter, because people are human, they make mistakes. But I like to keep things positive. So ask me about positive stories, and I'll tell you my positive stories. There's lots of good ones with lots of celebrities, lots of everyday people, and my personal experiences. <clears throat> um, so on that note, about negative things, any of y'all guys, you want to make uh, bad comments or hate or say things, that's fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. And constructive criticism is always welcome. I'm new to YouTube. I've never done it before. I'm older than most people on there, actually. So it's okay. But if you're just hating on myself or other people, Hobro's just going to ignore you. There's no need for that. You know I'm all about love and respect. Uh, so... First of all, y'all want to know about my family, right? So let me tell you a little bit about my family. Right now, right here with us right now is my lovely wife, Pranol. Now, some of y'all asked me about my tattoos. This one, it says Pranom in Thai. That's my wife's name. I met her in Thailand about 15 years ago. This other one I have is the Sabana Hong, which is the boat for the King of Thailand, currently the ninth King of Thailand. That's a whole other thing we're gonna get into when we talk about Thailand. Other than my wife who's holding the camera and laughing at me right now about this, uh, I also have a son. His name is OJ, Ryan Joseph. And I have uh, a little daughter named Nong Fa. Her real name is Priya Marie, but she goes by Fa because all Thais have nicknames. And um, little Fa, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on record now. One day she's gonna take over the entertainment industry. I guarantee it. You think Angelina Jolie was big in her day? She was, but nothing is going to compare to Little Fa. She's a she's a powerhouse. She's charismatic. She's beautiful. So just remember, look at the date. Today's like November 25th, 26, 2014. Hobro said it first. Hey, don't laugh at me, bird. So Hobro said it first. It's true. It's going to happen. Now about me, I'm an actor, a producer, a writer. I've written seven scripts. I've written poetry, prose, all that stuff, uh, and I've assistant directed, second unit directed, and soon I will direct my debut feature, which is The Unhallowed Horseman. It's a take on uh, uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. But uh, y'all will get to see that. It's going to come out next year, so stay tuned to that. If I'm lucky, it's going to have some of these my YouTuber friends in it, so you'll see some of your favorites. Uh, I've traveled the world. I've traveled to India, to UK, all points of the US. Jordan, France, Turkey, all over Asia, Canada, wherever. So I'm all about traveling. I, I honestly tell you, Hobros, that you should travel. It's very important because when you stay inside your little town or your one mindset, whether it's culture, religion, whatever, that's a great thing. But until you get to know other people of other cultures, of other religions or other beliefs, even if you don't believe in religion, whatever it is, then you start to learn about life. And we only have... If we're lucky, we might have 60 years on this planet, 80, 100 max, and then it's all gone. So this whole purpose of this is to learn a life lesson. So 
take the whole bro's advice. If it ever possible, travel. It doesn't matter if it's the next town over, the next city over, all the way across the world. Or hell, one day you might be able to go to Mars or the moon. Who knows? But try it because it's going to expand your mind. It's like reading books. It's just a, a really good thing. Um, but the good thing uh, about, you know, I, I really have to give a sincere thank you to Rowan Atwood. Thank you, Mr. Roman. And to Chase Gilroy and Vitaly and Dennis Rohde and the gang and Natural Born Pranksters. Uh, first of all, I can't, I don't know when that movie's gonna come out. As soon as I do, I will let you know, but there's a whole chain of events that have to happen before that comes out, so they haven't set a date yet. I will know at some point, and I will share it with you fans. But uh, this this uh, internet has allowed me to meet you guys from all around the world. I mean, whether it's US, Canada, Switzerland, Netherlands, even Lima, Peru, you guys share your stories with me. Comment about me. Send me pictures. I'm gonna, as long as it's, as long as I have time, uh, I'm gonna make as much time as I can to interact with y'all. And please tell your friends. I got what 15,000 uh, followers on Instagram. Tell them to come over and subscribe to me. Because the more people that subscribe, subscribe on YouTube, the more it, it frees up time for me so that I can put more effort into it. If I see people interested, I'm going to put effort, more effort into it and more time uh, so that I can share more with y'all and you can share more with me. So stick around with me. I'm going to share all my adventures of, with you all around the world. I'm going to gain you access to film sets and stuff and everything. So in the words of my good friend Josh Elkin of Epic Mealtime, come on this journey with me. Y'all who watch Epic Meal Empire and FYI know all about that. You know what I'm talking about. But for now, I want to show you guys the kingdom of Thailand because that's where I'm at here for the next month. Show you how they do their version of Christmas, which is pretty entertaining. There's a lot of entertaining things in Thailand you're going to get to know. Um, <clears throat> but basically, uh, I want you to, I want to show you my life and, and how it is and, and, and be a hobo, be a friend with you guys. So uh, I want to thank you. I want to thank my fans and my friends and my hobros uh, for your interest in me and know that I am also interested in you and the hobro the hobro loves all y'all friends and I, I love all y'all so again much love and respect to y'all now let's go and take over Hollywood much love and respect to all y'all my hobros peace out